freaking vlog hello good morning i didn't realize how busy this morning would be until i was like doing everything and now i'm just finally sitting down to eat my most interesting concoction of food i just want to let you guys know that if you're new here and you're expecting like a regular vegan what i eat in a day like oh i'm gonna have oatmeal and then i'm gonna have like a rice bowl and then i'm gonna have like noodles for dinner um this is not I'm just gonna tell you guys what I have here for my breakfast before I move on to whatever I wanna update you on. So right now I have some Dave's Killer Bread, which is my favorite so far, and then spread on top is not almond butter because, I don't know, I wasn't feeling almond butter this morning. I had some yesterday. But what I did was mix a scoop of blessed protein chocolate coconut and some greens powder and ground Pum no, ground sunflower seed and sesame seeds because I'm seed cycling again. And I mix that all together with water and then I just spread it on the toast and then I just have the rest of it right here and I put some more strawberries and cacao nibs on it. Mm. There's also cacao nibs and a drizzle of chocolate syrup and a pinch of Himalayan sea salt. And I always need to like have some kind of crunchy neutralizing thing with my food. Like the strawberry offsets the chocolate but celery definitely offsets like any type of creamy, crunchy, and I just like the combination of them. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So this morning started off pretty, pretty early. I woke up at 5.30 and then I actually got up at six. I did my little journaling and then I went into my Ashtanga yoga practice and then it was eight o'clock. And right now my parents are out of town. So I'm the designated caretaker of like the stuff that my mom normally does so taking care of my grandma she is a lot elderly so i'm technically her caretaker for the next week and a half and i'm guessing that i'm going to continue being her caretaker i basically moved back to my parents house so that i could help my mom take care of my grandma because my mom has work and she has like her other things to do too my grandma needs to be taken care of every single day. And so I found myself driving back and forth to help out my mom with my grandma. And I realized like, I might as well just live here cause I'm paying rent to stay somewhere that I don't really stay that often. So now that my parents are gone, I'm like the full-time caretaker of my grandma who is currently at her adult daycare. So I got her ready for that. And then I cleaned up the house, vacuumed my room. There was a full moon. So I was charging my crystals and then I was too lazy to get them last night or yesterday. So I got them today and then I went to go outside to charge my salt lamps, which if you guys have salt lamps every so often, it would be a really good idea to bring your salt lamps out into the sunlight so that they can charge and get more energy if you're into that kind of stuff. And then I watered the plants cause it's my mom's thing. And then I made myself this breakfast and I have so many things on my to-do list to do and I'm a very to-do list typey person. As you can see, like this whole day is pretty um, 
it's pretty full. But I just wanna do, I don't know, check in and say hi and um, vlog a little bit with you guys. This is all that I wanna talk about right now. I'm going to eat my breakfast and then go on with as much as possible while my grandma is at adult daycare because when she comes back, it gets busy again. I gotta run some errands. I just gotta do stuff, so. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my food. I just want to make a little point that lately I have not been eating my food like without distractions. So I've been trying to do work at the same time or I've been watching stuff and I realized, actually I'm taking a hint from Sarah from Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. I'm trying to just do one meal, at least one meal a day where I'm eating without any distractions and it super makes a difference because I'm, when I'm eating and I'm distracted, I finish my food and I'm like, oh my gosh, where did my food go? And then I feel like I kind of want to snack on more things. But when I eat my meals without any distractions, other than of course, if I'm eating with people, then I realize that I don't really need Everybody's awake. Everybody. Everybody. What are we Close looking it, at? It's a real fucking thing. What is what is that? <laughs> Look at the letter. Oh my god, Look shut at the, the fuck website. up. It's a fucking real thing. You're so That's mean. So You're so <laughs> mean. My brother's making fun of me because I joined. <laughs> <laughs> That's the okay, most it's so embarrassing. Embar <laughs> and, she, and she even put her name as A Sevilla, like we wouldn't know who it is. No, they don't let you put your full That's name. But why did you even? You took the time to look it up. You're such a jerk. Wow. Nerd. I joined a jigsaw puzzle exchange thing because I do so many puzzles. I do so many puzzles and then I just waste them. So I'd rather just exchange them with people. There you go. Come on, guys. It's, leave me alone. Our batteries do not last long at all. Anyway, what I really wanted to show you before the very embarrassment is I'm currently making my grandma a vegetable soup right now. So it's just tomatoes. There are no tomatoes in there. I don't know what I'm saying. Potatoes and carrots. And then I'm gonna put one of these not chicken cubes in there. On the bottom I was like sauteing some garlic and onions. So I'm gonna throw one of these in there and just fill it with water and then let it like slow boil to make it really, really soft. Cause my grandma has a hard time chewing. Like yesterday when I was trying to feed her some food, her, like her teeth were hurting her so she wasn't able to eat some of the vegetables. So I'm just gonna make this for her and then when she comes and I feed her, then I'll give her like rice with it or something. Oh, I could also add nutritional yeast to it to add a little bit of protein, make it a little cheesy. Yeah, just some flavors. Now I'm gonna go run a quick errand at the bank. I was gonna film a Q&A right now, but I have a little phone interview at one, and it is currently almost 12, so I know that I probably wouldn't make it back in time, so I'm just gonna go to the bank really quick, get this all over and done with, and then go film my Q&A, and then I have a little interview, like phone interview meeting type of thing. Some of you have been asking me what I've been doing in the meantime since I've graduated, and I've also gotten my RD. Basically, I've been applying to jobs. I know that I'll be my grandma's caretaker for a while, so it would be cool to have like a part-time job while I'm being her caretaker, still get my clinical experience up, and then, yeah, basically I've just been applying to jobs because I want to get some hospital experience. So, since I have talked to you guys earlier, I've gotten a couple calls already and like set up some interviews, so I'm really excited. It's really dope that all this is happening because a couple days ago I was like, man, I think that the universe is just telling me it's okay, don't have a job right now, like you need to take care of your grandma, but... I really would like to work because I'm a busybody and that's just what I love to do. I just got to the bank, but I just wanted to say, I've been wearing these Annie shoes for a long time and they've lasted me a very, very long time. They are a little bit faded, but I kind of like that look. But I've been wearing these for over a year now and they're still super comfy. They're flat, like barefoot type of shoes, so they're perfect for lifting, but also perfect for just like wearing casually. They're an all vegan footwear brand and they'll donate $5 to Mercy for Animals for anybody who buys a pair of shoes using the code Amanda, so make sure you check that out. 
but I'm about to go into the bank and there's BB. I have been doing so much talking today. I just filmed a Q&A and then I had the interview which sounded really great until um, they said that they only needed like fluent bilingual Spanish speakers and I was like, man, I took Spanish one through three honors and I got A's but I'm not fluent in Spanish and that would have been really, really hard for me. So that didn't work out, but that's okay because I still have a couple more interviews and also a job will come when it needs to come. Anyway, I'm currently like this soup is super soft now. So I'm just gonna immersion blend it if the blender works. I don't know how to use this, let me see. Figured it out, it's not the button, it's this thing, which you can't see because the autofocus is not working. Okay, let's see, oh God, okay. I added the rest of this almond milk. I don't know how much I put in there to uh, make it a little creamy. And then I'm gonna add in a lot of nutritional yeast. I don't know, that looks like enough. Cool, so now it's just this thick, creamy soup. And I'm gonna do a little taste test. Ready? Mmm. That's really good. I'm really proud of myself. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm done patting myself on the back. Let's just, let's get this thing served. I was in the middle of working out and then my grandma came home. So now I'm giving her the soup. I'm able to finish my workout and my grandma's currently watching some TFC. And I am going to get my dinner salad ready. I'm already air frying some tofu over in that air fryer. But this is honestly, okay, this is why I hate showing the process of my salad making. I decided to spin myself around instead of spin you around. So we could just spin around together. So this is the process of my salad making. I just look in the fridge and then I see what the fuck is in here. I put it over here and then I just do something. And I always get some kind of vegetable and cooked vegetables. So right now we got the main lettuce, the carrots. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do, but this is just how it goes. All right? Got some salad, hummus, avocados, necessary, celery, necessary. I have this like leftover tabbouleh from a Mediterranean restaurant my brother went to. Got some corn, sauerkraut. I know you guys get bothered by me leaving the fridge door open. Whenever there's not like a big variety of vegetables to eat in the fridge, like cooked vegetables, then I always have this frozen variety. I don't know what is on this. It's kind of gross, but these are frozen green beans. Oh, this is. <laughs> This is beer because my dad likes to put his beers in the fridge and then they just burst. I'm gonna assemble everything first and then I'm gonna show you the amalgamation of a bunch of random stuff that I put in my salad. I have a call right now, so that is what I'm waiting for. So in the meantime, I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna eat a celery, a celery, and some hummus. I love celery. I used to hate celery, but now I like it. So it's okay if you don't like celery. Maybe you'll never like celery. But maybe you will like celery one day, so it's important to keep experimenting. All right, so we got the lettuce, and then I steamed some green beans over here, and some carrots, and this air fried tofu. I seasoned it with this adobo seasoning, which is a Filipino savory sauce mix thingy. That I usually use for a Filipino dish called adobo, but it has meat in it. And also, I'm too lazy to make a vegan version of a double. So now I'm gonna put some corn over. We got this leftover tabbouleh. Not tabbouleh, it's like just a cucumber tomato salad thing. So I'm just gonna throw all of it on there, I guess. I wasn't going to, but I emptied it. Then we have my favorite component of my, I like to call them like kitchen sink bowls because I literally just dump everything, but this is some seaweed salad. You can get like those big packs from Costco, but I absolutely love this stuff. Like whenever I go to a Japanese restaurant. And then what else do I want to put on here? Oh yeah, avocado. It's a little oxidized, a little old, but you know, avocado is avocado. We don't discriminate over here. And then we got, I feel like this is really, really close and you guys can't. This is like the best angle I can get, honestly. 
some sauerkraut. Nice. Now I'm gonna throw on some nutritional yeast on the top to make it look extra ugly. Some liquid gold, AKA tahini. And this is a tip for all of you people who like to drizzle your tahini. Get a squirt bottle and put it in there. That way you can make perfect tahini drizzles. It's beautiful. And then I have a mix of like sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, craisins, just as a nice little salad topper to add some sweet into the savory because I love adding sweet and savory together. And just to confuse my taste buds a little bit more, I've recently started putting hoisin sauce on my salads. Like I could probably thin it out with some water, but it adds a really nice like Asian flavor. And um, that's a huge salad bowl. Pretty sure that's all I'm gonna do. Don't worry about this knife. And this is the mess that I have to clean up after I make my salad bowls. Fun. It's been a couple hours since we last talked, actually since I finished eating, but now I'm gonna make my grandma her dinner because what we were eating was the rest of her lunch and then I'm also gonna make myself a snack and I just finished drinking a whole liter of water. You know when you reach like towards the end of the day and you're like, man, I did not drink enough water today, I'm so thirsty. Well, it's totally me. So I definitely drink a bunch of water and right now I'm going to watch, okay, so I have the food cooking. I'm just chilling here and uh, Going on my Amazon fire stick. You guys, this is my Friday night. <laughs> this is my Friday night. I'm trying to watch Dear White People because it is a damn good show. And I actually started watching it in March and then I never really like finished oh, it. But yesterday and the day before I was like binge watching it so now I'm in the half of season two and there's only two seasons so I'm basically almost done and I do it while I watch uh, and I watch shows while I crochet a blanket so if that says anything about my life then well it, it absolutely it says a lot about how my life is not that much at the moment but I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying the peace so, that was just a little update on my day, my life, and I'll catch you guys in a little. Okay, so for my last meal, I wanna say, I don't even know, it's just the last thing that I eat, is my favorite snack in the entire world, organic apple, almond butter, and then some strawberries and blessed protein powder because it's like chocolate and it's like dipping it in, you know. You know what I like to do with this. But yeah, I love apples and almond butter. I don't know why I love the combination. It's just my favorite in the entire world. No wonder my name is Apples and Amandas. Actually, my name's Amanda, but you know. No wonder I chose Apples and Amandas. Okay, honestly, that was so stressful. Getting old people to eat all their food is like very stressful. But anyway, it's like nine o'clock right now and I have to be up early tomorrow, so I'm gonna close up the vlog here. I'm just drinking my last little thing of the night, which is my magnesium drink, but this time I decided to add a little bit of BCAAs, which I think this is the uh, tropical fruit flavor from EHP Labs. There's no reason for the BCAAs, honestly, just like more flavor, and it's um, treat yourself Friday night. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you enjoy just like hanging out. Uh, my grandma says goodbye, good night, and I say good night. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.